Today, I'm going to talk about another instrument of attack that Satan uses to attack people. And this instrument of attack that Satan uses to attack us is doubt. The next instrument of attack, you know, I've spoken about two, deception, lie, and now is today's topic is doubt. Satan uses doubt to attack us, doubt. So I would like to encourage all of you to go share the message right now. Write the names of your people, of your friends that you would like to invite. Write the names of your, of your, you know, of the people in the comments. Tag them. Or when you are sharing, you can go and tag your people. Or you can just go ahead and uh, share right now and tag the people you are sharing with as well. But so the topic today is doubt. Satan uses doubt to attack you so what what is the what are the areas of doubt that satan where how does satan use doubt to attack us first of all the bible says that anything that is not of faith anything that is not of faith is a sin so something that is not of faith is a sin so that is one area satan will attack you because whenever you are doing anything and you are not doing it out of faith you are doing it out of doubt you are already you are already sinning so can you imagine how cunning that, how subtle that is? If you are doing anything, not with conviction, if you are doing anything with doubt, Satan knows that, that if he could plant you know, doubt in us, that we are going to be you know, sinning against God just because we are working in doubt. So that is one thing we all have to develop in ourselves. When we talk about satanic attack, we don't normally talk about this too much. But doubt is one of the greatest ways that Satan uses to attack all of us. So, uh, and you know, you know, so you have to be somebody, just make up your mind that no, I'm going to be somebody that is solid, that is on his feet, that is, you know, speaking the truth and that is solid on what I believe. So you stand on the truth. Just make sure that you, you are standing on the truth. And once you know you are standing on the truth, refuse to doubt. Refuse to doubt. If you have been listening to Pastor Sunday for a long time, you'll discover that I'm very confident. I'm always usually very confident of what I'm doing. So it doesn't matter what people are saying or whatever is happening. I'm confident because I know anything that is not of faith is a sin. Anything that is being done in doubt is a sin. So we all have to even work on ourselves, on our self-confidence, on our faith in ourselves, on faith in the word of God, and on our convictions. So that anything you do, you know you are doing it out of absolute faith. Anything you do, you know you are doing it out of absolute faith. So anything that is not of faith is a sin. So that is what Satan uses to attack because he knows that if you are doing anything that is not of faith, that it's a sin. It's if you are doing it in doubt, you know. And then let me, let me read the scripture out for you. Genesis chapter 1, verses 6 to 8. Now, I said Genesis, James. James chapter 1. Verses 6 to 8. James chapter 1, verses 6 to 8. It says, But let him ask in faith, not doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose or expect that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So anybody that is not doing everything he's doing in faith, and anyone that has doubt in anything he's doing, the Bible says that he will not receive, he will not receive anything. He will not receive anything from the Lord. Let not that person expect to receive anything from the Lord. So doubt is anti-God. God is not, is not in support of doubt. And Satan knows that. So doubt is one of the greatest instruments of attack of Satan. So, but what, what are the areas where Satan uses doubt to attack us? Where are the areas where Satan will attack you using doubt? Number one, Satan will use doubt to attack you yourself about faith in, in yourself so that is the greatest the most popular area 
of attack of Satan. You can, it will not even, it's not even number, number one is not even for you not to be, to doubt God. Doubt God? Okay, many people believe God somehow. And they might not doubt God. In fact, people find it easier not to doubt God, to believe God. But themselves, they keep on doubting themselves. But that is what Satan is after. Satan knows that on this earth, that you cannot do anything. That on this earth, that you are limited without faith in yourself. Satan knows that without faith in yourself, there is no amount of faith you have in God. But without faith in yourself, you'll never be able to do anything. If, let, me, let me repeat a, pray, a phrase and a principle that I have taught before to people today. Maybe you, you might be new and you might not know this, but it is on the earth. When it comes to earth and ruling and reigning on the earth, it is more important, far more important for you to have faith in yourself than to have faith in God. When it comes to ruling and reigning on the earth, when it comes to dominion on earth, you need more faith in yourself than you need faith in God. That is why all over the world, there are so many atheists who don't have faith in God, who don't believe in God at all. But the fact that they don't believe in God doesn't make them to be failures. So they don't believe in God, but, they, they, but they, thanks to the fact that they believe in themselves, just thanks to that one particular fact that they believe and they have faith in themselves, they are doing wonders. Do you know that people like Mark Zuckerberg doesn't believe in God? But because he believes in himself, look what he has done. Do you know that someone like my, uh, Bill Gates doesn't believe in God? But because he believed in himself, look what he has done. Most of the people that we admire in our world today, most of them don't even believe in God. But because they believe in themselves, they are able to change the world and make the world a better place. Now, why is it that God will bless them even though they don't believe in him? Because God knows that this is one of the cardinal and fundamental laws of, of, of humanity, of, of life. And this law of life says that you need more faith in, in yourself than you need faith in God for you to survive on earth. For you to function on earth, it is faith in yourself that you need. God has already put everything in place. In fact, God said he sends rain and uh, sun both to the good and to the, to, the, to the bad, to the, to the evil. Why? Because, you know, God will be faithful anyway. God will do his part. But if you believe in God alone and you don't believe in yourself, you will not even be able to go out of the room or out of your house to go and do anything. You don't have the confidence. If you don't believe in yourself, you will not have confidence to even do what God wants you to do. Some people say, oh, I don't need faith in myself because it will be pride. And because the Bible says, do not uh, uh, trust in, your, in yourself or in your might. You know, do not uh, trust, put, uh, what does it say? Yeah, do not lean on your own understanding. Do not lean on your own understanding. That's what people say. Oh, don't lean on your own understanding. So because of that, because the Bible says, don't lean on your, your own understanding. You know what Christians have done? They have just said, ah, okay. I don't need to lean on my own understanding. Let me just go and lean on God. And then they just undo everything over to God. They are not doing anything. But what that passage is saying is not to lean on your own understanding. It's different from having faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself, but don't just lean on your own understanding. Lean on God's understanding, but have faith. Even if you, you know, have God's understanding, if you don't have faith that you'll be able to perform it, if you don't have faith in yourself, even that understanding of God that you have will never work for you. You will never be able to materialize it or to, to implement it. So without faith in yourself, you will not be able to even do anything. You'll be paralyzed. So this is a general life principle. This is a general principle of life that for you to perform on earth, for you to reign on earth, paramount on the list must be faith in yourself. So if Satan could get you to doubt your ability, if Satan could get you to a place of doubt in yourself, he has defeated you, he has destroyed you, he has crippled you, he has rendered you, rendered you paralytic. You are useless already just by making you to doubt yourself. If you have been 
watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button. And the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, leave your comments. Let us know what you're thinking about each video. And finally, we need you to go and share the world. Share this video on your Facebook timeline on your uh, Instagram and every other platform that you have. Alright? Let's win the world for Christ. Thank you so much.